10 miles, two South Florida highways, one accused wrong way driver. Tonight, that woman is facing a long list of charges after a ride that somehow didn't get anyone killed. CBS 4's Aurelia Ortega is in Miami, where that driver was finally stopped and arrested. Four cars losing control and crashing on the Palmetto Expressway near the Golden Glades as they tried to avoid this. This is a car driving the wrong way on the Palmetto at 2 o'clock in the morning. Stunning video shows it heading east in the westbound lanes. Video shows when the vehicle got close to I-95, it finally switched into the correct lane, but that did not last long. When faced with getting onto I-95, video shows the driver once again going the wrong way, heading southbound in the northbound lanes. Florida Highway Patrol troopers said the car traveled 10 miles going the wrong way, making it to the Dolphin Expressway near downtown Miami. 24-year-old Chelsea Halter was taken into custody miles away from where cars were wrecked on the highway. In the middle lane ahead of me, I noticed the debris in the air, smoke, and everything in front of me, it was like a movie, and there was vehicles spinning towards me uh, at full speed. This driver tried to avoid the smashed cars ahead of him, but with a motorcycle next to him, he had to make a difficult choice. So I had to make a decision if I wanted to hit a vehicle or swerve to the left and avoid all these vehicles and hit, not hit an axe, the, another vehicle, and crush. There's a motorcyclist. The Florida Highway Patrol says Halter was not in a wreck herself, but that her wrong way drive that went on for miles is the sole reason other cars crashed. They tried to get out of her way and they sort of lost control and they, they, they were involved in a crash involving four vehicles. Luckily, no one was badly injured. However, one driver was transported to the hospital with minor injuries. Halter is facing a number of charges, including driving under the influence. In Miami, Aurelia Ortega, CBS 4 News tonight.